so how to open the user level go to the window start button enter graph smart instrumentation right click on the smart instrumentation more okay. run as admin so in in our last session we have learned how to work on the instrument index and uh, the four different method we have learned so and the first method we have learned in the uh, last session and the remaining three method we are going to learn so you get the once you log in in the user level you get this um, floating tab and uh, the main window so here you have to double click on the the project which you are assigned for so expand it and select the lowest entity in this tree plant hierarchy okay so where you would like to work so unit 100 means select the unit 100 and click okay so as we are familiar with the index model the basic menus how to create the tag numbers how to do the associate and all so today we are going to work on the second method okay which is domain explorer so how to open the domain explorer go to the tools domain explorer otherwise shortcut key f7 so domain explorer hmm. will be look like this okay. so it contains the tree view okay project name plant name area name unit number if you expand the unit number you will have many folder structures you can create your own folder. all those folders where they automatically created yeah this folders are as default available in the software okay. you cannot create any new folders it's okay. a default under okay. this folder only you are going to create all the required components okay okay so now by using index model we have feed some tag numbers loop numbers already in the last <coughs> session you yeah. may remember right yeah. <coughs> yeah. And if i open the... yeah. are you okay mr jacko Yes, I'm fine. Okay, shall I continue? Yes, please. So you can see the loop folder. Yeah. You can see the instruments folder. Yeah. So whatever we have created, it is visible here. So oh, by okay. using index model, we have created okay. many tag numbers, many loop numbers. As I uh, told you in my last session, when you see any P and ID in your mind, this kind of imagination should come. You remember? Yeah. Like um, when you see the P and ID, like this is a parent entity. These are the child entities under the loop. So this kind of imagination must come. So okay. that's what represented over here in the. Oh, okay. We have learned all this tab how to use this. Now, how to work on the Domain Explorer? Domain Explorer means for doing anything, right click, right click, right click. Okay. That is the only way to do it. Right click, right click, right click. <laughs> you want to do anything, right click. Okay. okay. Note it down sharply. Okay. Right click, Domain Explorer. Okay. So as we know the purpose of Domain Explorer, uh, it is used for creating the tag numbers and loop numbers, same like index. Okay. Okay. Apart from that, Domain Explorer is used for all the models okay that one by one we will learn how to work on the domain explorer but initially you learned how to create the tag numbers and now i want to create the new tag you see in the index model there is a new tag option is there okay. now i want to create the new tag number so right click on the instrument folder right click okay. new instrument so for doing anything right click right click okay okay instrument so you get the same window pop up Okay. So enter that. See, fill all the necessary information. Okay, okay. What are people default instrument is not there? Let's say vibrations transmitter or weight transmitter. How do you Yeah, you can you can create everything here. Whatever you want, just right click new create it. You mean to ask this one, this one you were asking this one? No, 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 no. You answered that question. So I just say under that instrument folder where you are. So, you know, okay, what we okay. just, yeah, so we've answered that question, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, fine. So, in the same place, you can create it, okay. Um, so, first is a new tag. We learned how to use the new tag, tag property. So, here the tags are already present. Select the appropriate tag, right click property. Okay. 
so you can go to the property you can edit whatever you want even if you want to edit the tag number also you can rename it by using this okay supporting table the small small square boxes are called as supporting table okay third is duplicate tag how to duplicate the tag number select the appropriate tag right click duplicate okay. spa is very easy if you understand the logic if you don't understand spa will give <laughs> you more difficulties so like a driving initially while driving a car it would be yeah. very difficult but once you learn the driving you will start loving it if you want to create the new loop right click on the loop folder okay if the pn id is not there i can create that right yeah you can yeah you can create the okay. pn id so so everything okay. you can do like okay Absolutely. you have that supporting table no small small yeah. square boxes you want to create small yeah. square boxes okay. okay the square boxes you see these are drop okay. down supporting okay. is drop down okay this is called as supporting table okay. you remember the table option yes. the first day i have explained to you yeah so this square box is supporting that table so it is called supporting table okay so new loop loop property so right click on any specific loop property so you can update whatever you want okay okay duplicate loop uh, we already learned how to duplicate the loop mm -hmm. so from here if you want to duplicate select the appropriate loop okay. so while duplicating along with the tag numbers it get duplicate okay oh, okay, okay. the complete loop get duplicate then rename loop rename loop there is no separate option by going to properties by clicking on the supporting table mm. you can rename it okay associate you know associate what happen yeah to i know like yeah. when you mm. when one loop is associated another loop yeah the tags will get moved from the parent loop to this loop okay so now okay. here this is imagine this is a master loop and this is a that uh, slave loop kind of thing like this loop is associated with this loop okay already we did associate now i will disassociate i will just drag and drop will disassociate you want to reassociate pull the tag number put it on this loop oh, okay. okay domain explorer is so simple you can work like a work like eating ice cream okay <laughs> so you will uh, the domain explorer see normally when we used to start the work now we don't open any models we keep open the domain explorer oh, okay because without this you cannot work in any models so we always require domain explorer because this domain explorer is going to help to work with all the models not only oh. index so understand mr jacob yes i got my yeah so we have learned all these options over here in the domain explorer how to do that okay 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 next we will learn batch loop and batch stack creation okay imagine you have this kind of uh, um, similar tag numbers and loop numbers you see there is some equipment equipment have the various stages of temperature measurement stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 stage 5 stage 6 yeah so here if you extract the loop numbers and tag numbers you will get it here i wrote the loop number format different but uh, just uh, forget this ta and all just keep only 100 t 1000 100 t uh, 1000 okay just hide this let me correct this open with paint i understand <laughs> yeah uh, actually uh, i will uh, add uh, here yeah Uh, that's thousand so it would be very yeah. clear i know it was a mistake i understand yeah it would be confusing for all the sessions so better i will correct it one session okay what is the text size so it's not so perfect but still okay <laughs> so this is a this is a loop name and this is a tag number so okay if you extract the tag number to loop numbers okay i haven't added the soft tags still soft tags need to be added here under this loop okay so if you have a similar type of a loop and tags what you have to do like in spa have a option called a batch loop and batch tag creation okay. which will allow you to create the uh, bulk uh, tags bulk tag you can create 
like how you are taking the Xerox copy from the machine. You can make a copy multiple pages from one page. So similar way, first you can create some typical loop like this. A typical loop you can create with the dummy loop name and dummy tag numbers. You create a typical and you convert into n numbers. Okay, convert this. You create one typical and convert into n numbers. N number of loop or tags. Understand? Yeah. Like a cloning, like cloning. You know, you create yeah. only one and you clone it for multiple. 